Mashal. Mashing a muscle. Um, first impressions. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is, but this gives me strong, like, mob psycho, black clover, one punch man vibes. And if you like those shows, I have a feeling this, this may cater to you somehow. <clears throat> so, um, first off, I kind of had, like, a chuckle because it was stupid, but, um, or, like, it's very, like, the first one said very, um, uh, <clears throat> right at the intro. It's like, this is a world where everybody uses magic, uh, like, magic, uh, casually. Like, everyone can use magic here. Every single person everywhere can use it. That is why it's called the Magic Kingdom. I was like, fucking really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Just right there, that was just my, I don't know why, that was just like, I had to pause, and I was like, there's no fucking way I read that right, nope, went right back and read it, nope, I read it right, I was like, okay, that that's where our humor is, okay, you got me, got me on a chuckle within the first few seconds, I, I appreciate it. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, uh, this is the magic realm, and everyone can use magic, every person, everywhere, and, um... Our main character, I shit you not, his name is Mash Burn Dead. And I was like, what? Okay. And then they caught me again because they show him in the forest working out aggressively. Like just pumping all iron like crazy. Like literally that fast. And they pan over to like a fucking, it was like two fucking deer. And their expressions were just so Nietzsche Joe. I'm country roll. Mother, this is country roll. Um, there's another show called Nichido or My Ordinary Life. And I'm pretty sure if you've never seen the show, you've seen the fucking meme of some of their faces. It is the same show where it's the principal versus the deer. That is, that is the fucking show. So <laughs> that's the show I'm talking about. And I don't know why the expressions reminded me of Nichido, but it just fucking did. And so I had to pause and then I was laughing. They do it again later in the episode with a fucking squirrel who's like eating at night and is like watching they're like watching MASH work out and they're like ah the fuck I don't know why but that also got me giggling I was like this is fucking dumb and I already <laughs> I don't know yeah but um so yeah everybody can use magic surprise surprise our main character cannot and um we figured that as a problem later uh and Mash, oh god, how, how do I put this? M Mash is, like there are a lot of stupid characters in anime. Naruto is relatively stupid. Um, Ashta is stupid. Like there's some, there's some characters that aren't the brightest bulbs. But... Uh, Mash is the level of stupid where he cannot remember, despite being told several times, um, if he should pull or uh, push the door to the house and so just rips it off the fucking hinges constantly. And then uh, he feels bad. He always feels bad when he does stuff. He's a very good boy. Stupid boy. Very good boy, though. And he tries to fix it by repeatedly smashing the door horizontally. <laughs> mm, like, that is, that is our level of intelligence here. That being said, already he's somehow endearing to me. Already they won me over with the first episode. That is the golden thing. If you can win me over with the first episode, despite whatever the fuck is wrong with your main character, I'll stick out the anime. <laughs> like, there's man I had to fucking clench to get past. I'm glad I did. Like, I fucking love Black Clover. But I really had to be like, girl, don't you dare stop. Just push. You're gonna, you're gonna regret it if you just drop this anime. Because I had to get over the fucking Ash just screaming every five fucking seconds. Like, I know he gets to hype himself up, like, to give him a pep talk. And I, it makes sense later on. He doesn't do this much later on. But, like, I don't think I would have survived it if I did not survive the Naruto. Believe it, era dub. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Ma Mash cannot use magic. But I guess his grandpa is making him work out. He, he says he, he wanted to do it for, like, self-defense to, like, help him out. And we later find out that it's not... Well, I think Black Clover, Ashton did not have magic. Um, he had something else, but... 
he they thought he was magicless and they made fun of him that kind of thing but you he could still survive you know whereas in this world it's revealed by the end of the episode um it's not just that you, you everyone can use magic it's um people who cannot use magic are actively cult or actually killed because they are in fear bloodlined so basically what happens is his grandpa he lives in this like the woods with his grandpa he calls him his dad and we learned that basically what happened is um they're not related by blood it's like a flashback and it's uh he his father whatever this old man uh can i don't know if he didn't have magic or he just didn't have much magic at the very least he he just wasn't really getting by. And he was, like, literally about to commit suicide, was putting a foot over the ledge, and he happens to hear a baby cry, which ends up being Mash, which is left on the ground. And he has, like, all of them have this mark on their body, like, on their face or whatever. And, the, like, when Mash goes to town, they're all freaking out because he doesn't have one. And everyone has one. Like, you get it? Every, everyone should have this thing on their face. He doesn't. So they know right away he doesn't have magic. And of course, so he goes to the town, even though his, his I don't want to say grandpa because he's he's like 75 or something, but he, he like calls him Pops, I think, is what Mash calls him. And um, he goes because he wants to he, like, fucking eat cream puffs or something, I don't know. Which, by the way, those are both worked into the opening and ending theme is the cream puffs. And, um... I love when they have, like, some random fucking thing that the character likes that just worked into the fucking show for no reason. For no reason, just love it. And, um... But the sequence of him buying them was great, too. He hands him the money, and, like, he's fucking bent it. <laughs> and, like, hold on, I'll fix it. And the shop keeps like, the fuck? Uh, he's also, like, the first one that notices, oh, this, this kid doesn't have anything. Like, he has a hood over, and then, like, the wind blows, because, you know, of course... Like, yes, I know you can, like, blow like the, the fucking hat off or the hood off or like I get it but at the same time like the breeze is never that fucking strong if you're thinking about it realistically and when they do those type of things in anime it's like a, a gentle gust that might ruffle your hair or something or like a fucking ribbon or something in your hair not blow your fucking hoodie off like I don't I don't know it just occurred to me anyway so yeah this is yeah they, they find about Ash and then they you know come to kill him or whatever and uh, he, he just swats their magic away like fucking One Punch Man. Just psh. And um, also made me laugh. Um, I, I do love when like there's a, a shitty character we don't like. They were kind of rooting for the ass kicking to happen. And they're like, this is my most powerful spell. You know, they're fucking channeling their death ray or whatever. And then just get smacked the fuck out of the way. It's never not unsat. It's never sad. It's never not unsatisfying. It's always satisfying because I'm trying to say. And, um... It's like fucking seed stuck in my tongue or something. Sorry. And I'm, like, talking and I feel, and I feel and like, this fucking annoying. Stop it! <laughs> and, um... Yeah, he, you know, just shows them that they could do fuck all to him, basically. The house, that poor house, is fucking... Needs some repairing, <laughs> of course. And, um... Basically, the guy says, "I'll tell you what. I'll not kill you. I'll not go after. I'll not go after you. If you go to the magic school and win this, like it's like divine visionary or something type of thing. Basically, it's you're the elite of the elite, and he wants the fame and prestige for that. So he wants Smash to go there and become that, so he can benefit from that. And otherwise, he says, or I'll hunt you down and kill you. And I'm just like, sir, you just." He gets to question you like a fucking bug. Like, who the fuck are you threatening? Your magic's doing fuck all, man. I do love when they're like, and I will make you a deal. Um, no, sir. You just... You just do lucky he isn't shoving a sister down your throat. I don't know what the fuck are you talking about. I mean, to be fair, like, they've all seen that he doesn't have the thing. But... Well, to be fair, they've just seen that he doesn't have the thing. They don't know that he doesn't have magic yet. But I'm assuming because you don't have that thing and you're, like, the, the weird fucking line on their faces, I don't fucking know. Kind of reminds me of, like, the picture of the character from Degray Man, which I never watched that anime, so I don't know if it has any significance. I just I just remember the kid had, like, a red fucking line on his face or some shit. 
and Kelly looks like someone took a sharpie just like eh! and that's it. sometimes she'll like eh, 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 eh. like you know it's like a fucking line very etch sketch um I'm sorry I just realized how accurate that's it it very is etch a sketch um and uh yeah, so, so I managed at the end of the first half, I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. And, um, again, I don't know why he just doesn't fucking put a fist through their face. I mean, they did, like, literally come after him and his grandpa, or her dad, or what the fuck do I call him? I don't know. Like, I, I don't. Like, Mash does say, if you come after us, I'll fucking kill you. So, like, I would have just. Like, they're already coming after. You know, move. Move, I'm sorry, I have to, like, itch my arm. Like, move and just kill them. They, they can't fucking chase you. Um, maybe they have turkey magic. I don't fucking know, probably. But we've already established the fucking giga, whatever the fuck he used, did not work. But maybe something else would, I don't know. <clears throat> you can't find an army alone. I know. But usually the characters can. <laughs> There's some characters that they kind of can't. Like, I'm sorry, but I'll put money on Saitama from One Punch Man fighting an army, okay? I know who the fuck's gonna win to that fight. <laughs> Unless you have an army of Saitamas, I don't think... It, no. I hope we get a second or a third season of that anime. I fucking love that anime. One Punch Man's so good. I've seen both seasons. I haven't seen any of the OVAs, but I've seen both seasons. And they finally uploaded both seasons onto uh, Crunchyroll, which makes me happy. I'm so far behind on Black Clover. And then, yes, I know Mob Psycho has, like, a third season. I think I've seen one... I think I've seen... I know I've seen the, the, a movie for it, and then I've seen season one and two, I think. I don't think I've seen season three. I don't think I've seen season three. There we go. Sorry, like, I'm, I don't know why my arms are itchy right now. I'm never itchy, and then I'll get, like, this random moment where I just, I gotta itch. It's irritating. I'm like, what the fuck is... is what the fuck caused it? It's not like a chronic thing, like, oh, it's it's because of this problem. No, it's always, like, some random, like, weird, tickly, pokey feeling. You, you ever fucking get that where it feels like someone's stabbing you with, like, a needle and it's itchy? And you're like, what the fuck is that? Where it's coming from? Why can't I get rid of it? It'll <sighs> fade, but still it's annoying. Um, but yeah, uh, a very long story short. Um, this looks fucking hilarious. And uh, I'm, I can see myself watching this till the end. Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, check this out. This sounds like your cup of tea. I was gonna say something catchy or clever. I don't fucking, I couldn't think of nothing. And like I said, if you enjoyed, like, One Punch Man and Mob Psycho and uh, Black Clover, there's something very similar about it. There's another thing that reminds me of. I was watching the opening and ending theme, because, you know, that's, I have to do it at least once. And they, they show a villain, and I don't know what it was, but, like, my, I had a couple of thoughts. So like, I was like, this kind of reminds me of, like, Soul Eater villains, but also, like, this one specific motherfucker reminded me, I don't know why, of, like, Bleach. Like, the villains from Bleach. Like, oh my god, who is it? Like, that's, like, one of those, the creepy fucking captains. Why we fucking experienced that creepy motherfucker? I'm running kind of him, but it also kind of reminded me of, like... A Dragon Ball Z villain as well. I don't know what it was. Something about his design was just like, I had some fucking flashbacks. <laughs> I was like, why are you so familiar? <laughs> who, who banged who to make you? I, I know I've seen you. You were inspired by something, motherfucker. I, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a villain. Because, you know, there it was like a, a dark background. It was like all dark and purple. Because, you know, they, that's what they do to villains is they bleach those fucker out in like some kind of dark color like we are the villains and like the heroes are like in the fucking sunshine like you know it's weird cliche shit they do in anime not just in anime but you know anyway yeah I'm gonna go back to watching the show so probably looks like there's three episodes out I don't know when they update it but I was very entertained um it's maybe you will be too I think you will be too I just Oh, and the girl, the girl they have in, like, the thing. Oh, she reminds me of, like, her design reminds me of a couple of characters. She hasn't been introduced yet, not only in the first episode. But, <clears throat> like I said, there's two more episodes out. And I've, I've just, like, literally a second into the, the second episode 
Um, but her, her, just like, I don't know, her design reminds me of, uh, I don't know, she's giving me, like, I never really watched Fairy Tale, but she's kind of giving me that chick from Fairy Tale vibes. Is that her name, Lucy? It kind of reminds me of her. And we know she's going to be, like, the obsessive type that likes MASH. Because we, if you actually watch the fucking thing, like, the opening or ending thing or whatever the fuck it is. You could see, like, in the background in her room, like, she has, like, a little plush doll of him. Which I've seen a lot of anime, like, opening endings of, like, a little plush character, like, person they like. That's usually the protagonist. And then you see, like, photos of him in the background. And quite clearly she's hanging on him. So we know she's going to be that I want to fuck you bitch. Um... That all sounds so wrong out of context. What I mean is she's definitely like the simp character for the protagonist. You know that when you see them, you're like, yeah, we know who's... Yeah, we know who you're trying to shove this other person with. <sighs> I keep feeling like I'm making it worse. Uh, I'm going to stop now. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, check the videos, and bye. And definitely check this one out on Crunchyroll. Goodbye. You can't even see my hand. I know. Okay. Wow.